Welcome to Dude Man Toys. I'm Tom, the owner. We are a stop along the way to completing your collection. Here with another uh, unboxing video of new product. Um, if you like uh, like to see the new products that I get, get coming in before they hit the storefront, uh, hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube and uh, drop, a, drop a hit on that notifications bell as well to uh, like I said, get notified anytime I bring in new product and you can see the goodies I got before they hit the storefront or I, they go up in live auction. Okay, let's, uh, what do we got? So I got some Ninja Turtles stuff. Got a few, some G.I. Joes. Got a couple little visionary things. And yeah, so let's go through it. Hey, okay, we'll go through the, some of the Joe stuff first. It's got a few of these little, um, base things there. That one, I believe that one's called the Outpost Defender. Um, isn't complete. It just comes as is. Got a few little extra pieces to go with it there. Um, got the ammo dump. It's uh, everything's in on the ammo dump there. So, bada boom. I believe it's just missing the, the figure stands. But, uh, we got a forward observe unit. This um, is not complete. I think it's missing. A, yeah, it's missing two of the little um, rockets that go in there. But um, yeah, that's the one with the little tent thing there. So it comes with two of the mortar rocket launchers there. And you got the little. Yeah, you got most of the little things in there on that one. Like I said, that's the forward observer unit. We got another one of those little. Uh, G.I. Joe base things. Um, the Biovac, I think it's called. That's that little half tent thing there. So, so yeah, that again also isn't complete. It's missing the, um, it's got all the, the little, like the stand with the little weapons, which is pretty neat. You don't see those, usually missing those often. This one's missing the, the rocket launcher thing. So, and then there is two of them in there. So, that's pretty cool. Little bio back. These are cool little uh, little additional Joe pieces. They released in what 84, 85 kind of thing. What else we got? The machine gun defense unit. So that's that little uh yeah, it's got a little sign saying oh, you got them backed up there, just saying danger, you know. Then they got those little roadblocky things. We got the 84 mortar defense unit as well. So, um, I believe everything's, or I get no, I guess it's missing one or two of the sandbags. And then same thing, it doesn't have the, the figure stands. So, and then we got the missile defense unit. Uh, same thing, it's missing one or two little pieces, but for the most part it's there. So that is all the little additional accessory kind of things. And then we got some Joes in. Got a really nice clean batch of Joes in. Like most of these are in like very, very nice condition. Unfortunately, most of them aren't complete. A lot of them don't even have accessories, but they're just in such good condition. So, so yeah, if you're, uh, if you're looking to you know, upgrade your figure. You know, maybe you got a Lady J or something that's not in the best shape. You can grab some of these. So the first few I'll show, I think, have most of their accessories, but then the rest won't. So I'll show a few of those first. Um, we got a Sergeant Slaughter 85 mail away slaughter. Said the paint on them is just beautiful. We got Quick Kick 85 Quick Kick. He's complete. He's got all his goodies in there again in beautiful condition. Um, and then I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it for complete. Like I said, not really many complete ones. So, hey, okay, we got an eel. This is, like, look at that logo. It's absolutely beautiful logo. So he's just missing his uh, his harpoon gun. We got a uh, eighty four Duke. 
he also missing his weapon, but he's got all his other stuff there. We've got Heavy Metal, the I think he's the Mauler driver, if I'm not mistaken. So again, he's got nothing. No mic, no weapon. But he, like I said, in, these figures are in absolutely beautiful condition. Like, the paint on them is just flawless. Like, like I think there's one in here with an elbow crack. So, we got a Viper. A super nice Viper. Again, no accessories. But, like I said, in beautiful condition. We got, what, Airborne? I believe. Yeah, no, is that Airborne? Um, no, that's, um... Oh, goodness, I can't remember his name right now. But anyways, <laughs> it'll come to me. <laughs> so we got him. Um, here's Airborne. So he does have, I believe that's all his accessories. So there was one more with accessories. So we got Airborne. We got the Televiper. Again, in absolutely beautiful condition. His logo is just gorgeous on him, on his arm. So very, very nice Televiper. No weapons, but well, I guess the uh, torch is complete as well. If I'm not mistaken, we got a dreadnought torch. So he is complete in there. He's got his weapon and his backpack. So also very, very good condition. We got Hawk. Um, or is this Falcon? I think this. No, this is Hawk. Sorry. But he does have his backpack and his helmet, but no weapon. So uh, we got eighty-five snake eyes, I believe it is. Eighty-five snake eyes. He's got his backpack and what in his his long sword, but obviously no timber and nothing else. But again, very nice condition. We got Footloose. No accessories at all, but very good condition. So these will also be good ones for anybody wanting to start their collection. You know, maybe grab them without accessories so the hit isn't as hard, especially on somebody like Shipwreck. You know, pay like 70, 80, 90 bucks, I think, for him complete. So get him a bit cheaper in really good condition. Then buy the weapons as the money comes in. Cause yeah, the, the tattoo and the arm stuff on Shipwreck is absolutely beautiful. But no accessories at all. Oh, we got what? Frostbite. Um, super white. Well, I guess he's got a bit of yellowing on his on his suit and stuff. But other than that, um, very minor yellowing fading on his suit. Like, very minor. So, um, Yeah, we got him. Then we got Flash, 83 Flash, in very good condition. Very nice clean orange on him. So he's got his helmet and his... Uh, He's got his backpack as well, but no, uh, no weapon. We got um, Copperhead. So water moccasin pilot. Yeah, just kind of look at that logo. Absolutely beautiful logo. Soup. Like I said, these figures are super clean. Oh, uh, we got Zarana. She's got no accessories at all. Zatan's sister. Another Dreadnought. And then speaking of Dreadnoughts, we got Monkey Wrench. Uh, Monkey Wrench is complete, I guess, too. He only comes with his weapon, so and it is in there. So so I guess there was a few more complete ones hiding out. I think the Lamprey is complete, too. The Hydrofoil Pilot. So. Again, he's in beautiful condition. It's a pretty nice figure. The color of um, the blue and the silver they use is pretty nice combo. We got the Motor Viper, 86 Motor Viper. I think he's complete because he doesn't come with any originally. So His uh, faceplate is pretty. There's a few little minor marks on it, but again, very minor. We got Beachhead, one of my favorites. Beachhead. He's got his satchel, as you can see there. But other than that, nothing else. In beautiful condition. We got a snow serpent with an absolutely stunning logo on his arm, like flawless logo on that arm. Flawless again, no accessories at all, but we got airtight, same thing, no accessories. 
Um, we got Serpentor. He's got nothing. Doesn't even have his cape. So pretty basic Serpentor. Basic Serpentor there. We got uh, Roadblock. Uh, this is 86 version 2 Roadblock. So again, no accessories, but in beautiful condition. We got Barbecue. He comes with his axe. That's about it. Very nice barbecue. Uh, what else we got? We got mainframe. He's got his backpack, but other than that, nothing else. Again, in absolutely beautiful condition. We got um, Alpine. He's got just his backpack. Nothing else. So nice, clean Alpine there. We got wetsuits and uh, scrap iron. Wetsuit, he's got his little, um, I'm not sure what that thing's called, but, um, yeah, his logo, too, is absolutely flawless, like, just stunning condition, so scrap iron, no accessories at all, we got Dr. Mindbender, the Mindbender, got, his cape's really nice, really nice cape there. We got a bat. The bat. These things are pretty uh, popular. Very, very nice condition. He's got one of his. He's got his backpack and one of his accessories. So, so really nice bat. Yeah, he's the one. He's got an elbow crack. So he's one of. I think the only one, if I'm not mistaken. There might be one more, but I think he's the only one with an elbow crack. We got Zabernis. Um, the absolutely stunning logo on her. her logo is just flawless and she's got her um, backpack but no gun as you saw and then we got ourselves a Cobra officer 82 officer so pretty clean logo on him 82 op or 83 officer sorry again no accessories and then we got the nicest piece we got Storm Shadow. And no accessories. He does have his backpack there. But other than that, nothing else. But he is so, such good condition. Um, I guess his lower body has, like, it's not as white as his upper body. But his upper body and his logo is just... Stunning. It's hard to tell on this camera. I don't have my close-up camera set up for the unboxing videos, but But yeah, his logo is absolutely stunning. So Okay, so that is the GI Joe stuff All right, what else what else we got I got some visionaries Anybody that collects visionaries know these are very hard to get so just like a lot of things um Sometimes I just grab what I can. <laughs> so Visionary's logo, his chest thing there is pretty good condition, as you can see. So he's got nothing there, just the way he is. That's Witterquick, Visionary. We got um, another one. What is it? Croytech, I guess his name is. So he's got no chest plate, as you can see. A little bit of fading, or a little bit of paint. I'm assuming, yeah, that probably is. Yeah, he's got a little bit of paint chipping. But other than that, a pretty clean figure. And like I said, these visionaries are very hard to come by. So these will be ones you'll want to probably just grab whatever you can come by and upgrade. <laughs> or you can wait it out, find them with weapons, which will take a while. So Then we got two of their uh, two of the staffs. So, which are pretty cool, man. So yeah, we got the Arzon. And what Sindar, I guess so. Staffs for Arzon and Sindar again. Visionary is very hard to come by. Hey, okay, then what else we got? Let's uh, any uh, Simpsons fans? I got uh, a couple Simpsons figures, got Steven Tyler, if anybody's into the Simpsons, and what Joe Perry. Couple Simpsons figures. The Simpsons. 
So yeah, got those. And then we got some turtle stuff. We got Super 7 Metalhead. So, this thing's all sealed up, so everything's still enclosed in there. Never been taken out. Um, and we got April O'Neil, Super 7 April O'Neil. These Super 7 figures are so badass. They're like so, so nice, man. So yeah, we got two Super 7s. And then we got some Vintage Turtles in. Vintage Turtles. We got, what, I believe this is a 19 back. Casey Jones. In pretty good condition. Not mint, but... But I'd say a fairly high grade. Um, it's had a few little dings and nicks on it, but other than that, a very, very nice Casey Jones. Yeah, unpunched on that. Then we got Usagi. Or Usagi Ojimbo. Usagi Ojimbo. One of the friends of the turtles. But, uh, so Usagi's got a few issues. A little bit of bubble. Hard to see, but a little bit of bubble wrecking on the back and a little bit of a bend in the card there. But other than that, unpunched. Same thing. It's, what, 19 back, it looks like. Yeah, very nice. Usagi Yojimbo and Casey Jones. And then last, but certainly not least, is the X-Men. Wolverine. One of the old school original X Men figures from the original X Men movie, the movie that kind of helped launch all the good Marvel stuff. Without this movie, we probably wouldn't have all the Marvel stuff we have nowadays, so at least as good as it is. But yeah, Logan. Hugh Jackman is Logan, so I guess kind of Wolverine, more a Logan figure than a Wolverine, but he's got his claws there, so he's always Wolverine. Yeah, Logan from the first X Men movie. That is that. And I believe that is it. That's all the new stuff I got in recently. So, yeah. Like I said, it'll be up on the storefront pretty soon. Or else it'll be a lot in my auction. And if you want to keep up to date on all the new stuff, like I said, I got coming in, hit, a subs hit the subscribe button there and uh, hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time I upload one of these videos. And then I also upload videos of the product too. Like I'll do a closer look up of the figures in a vat with the close-up cam so you actually see everything in great detail so yeah you'll get notified of when those come up so if there's anything you're interested in you can check that out as well and you can also check out my store at dudemantoys.com and that's it for tonight and thanks for stopping by dude man toys take care